Hi there everyone, Adele here. Okay, how do you take determined focused action uh, for your business on social media? And that's what I'm gonna be talking about tonight. And I think it's really necessary, this one vital thing that you need to ensure that you're looking at, uh, the step that you need to take for your business if you're really serious about your business. So stay on and um, join in with the conversation and uh, let me know where you're coming in from um, and if you're coming on the replay hello and let me know uh, where you live that'd be fantastic and I'll give you a shout out so if you don't know me already my name is Adele Booth and I help people to take their businesses online using social media uh, to get more sales uh, customers and leads so tonight we're talking about how you can take that determined focused action um, in your business uh, to use social media to your advantage um, you know there are loads and loads of people out there and more coming forward and I'm just surprised um, at how much money people are actually spending on programs and systems um, uh, and didn't uh, and it's not working for them basically you know I, I know I came from a previous company and spent um, over three thousand pound and and that wasn't working for me but um, there are people that are spending thousands, five thousand, ten thousands, and a hundred thousands, and it's they're just not working for them. So um, you know, and some companies have actually gone under. And um, and if you're an affiliate, that's it. No, you know, you don't have a business because um, you're relying on the commissions uh, from selling products for that company. So. <sighs> where do you start again where where do you put your focus and and um you know that first vital step that you need to actually take you know it, 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 i'm going to talk about tonight um and i'd love to talk a little bit more about this and 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 why it's so vital i was looking back to um and it's crazy you know it's absolutely crazy uh, looking back at my own life i mean four years ago i was um literally living in a caravan in in the middle of a field and um, with no water no electricity and um, living off the land I was foraging off the land absolutely no money whatsoever my situation was very dire and the you know control was out of um, it's just out of all proportions um, and it's hard for me to talk about honestly I've, I've, I've got to say when I do look back um, you know I have been through absolute hell but um, you know it, it's, it's, it's put me to where I am today and I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for that and when I was living in the caravan you know I didn't have any money but I, I, I was in pieces and I had to put myself back together and I think this vital component that I'm going to talk about t t tonight um, took me a while to sort of grasp and look at um, you know, um, at that point in my life, I kind of needed to kind of have a vision, yeah, a purpose. And I, I was absolutely clueless of where I was at in my life. And I think that, you know, this is relevant for any position that you are in your life. We can review this vision and purpose um, um, at any time in our lives. Um, you know, I had to actually look at what I wanted for myself, what I wanted my life to look like. Yeah, do you get this? What do you want your life to look like? What did freedom mean to me? Um, I had a completely blank canvas because I'd, you know, I'd, I'd moved, moved away from the situation that I was in. Uh, my, my partner and the situation was controlling me and the only way out for me was to actually start from scratch with nothing. So um, I could paint whatever I liked on that canvas and created the life that I wanted. And that was four years ago. And look where I am today. So I think this is really vital that we need to do this exercise and, and, and keep keep that focus and this is where we actually place the focus and it's an essential component is our vision what do we want our life to be <laughs> yeah what does it want what does it look like and without this idea how can we ever put the pieces together to actually accomplish that yeah um, there is nothing without that there is nothing you are just going day by day by day by day completely lost if you don't have a vision of what you want out of life and how that looks because you can't put a plan together following that and I know that you know it was really tough for me and 
um, quite in, you know an emotional time. But I did move out of that situation. I went to work on a farm, and I I I, I worked for the farmer to. Um, have a caravan there it still it wasn't hooked up to water and electricity i you know i had to go down with my um container and pick up the water every day um but for me that was necessary for my healing and moving forward and looking at myself because for the last 27 years i'd always worked alongside somebody else in my life a partner children and for for once i had to actually think what do I want? And not as a collective, like a, a what does the family want? What does my partner want? What are we going to build together? I actually had to sit down and say, what do I want? Yeah, me. I had, my, I had to think what my own views and opinions and what I wanted out of my life. And sometimes, you know, you know, you, 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 when you come out of those situations like relationships, um, I, I mean, it's it, it, really hard. You know, uh, you know, I, I, I felt like that was the worst time of my life and um, I'm grateful for it. Yeah, I am literally really grateful for it. Because I wouldn't be here today without going through that. So, <laughs> I think it's about your own expectations about life and what you want out of your life. But actually to find yourself in that is so, so important. And keep that, that focus. Whew. Because then you are in control of that and nobody else is. Um, and once you grasp that control, there is the power. There is the power inside of you. I had to con completely, you know, reconstruct myself and my confidence and believe in myself again um, that I, you know, this was possible. And I took those steps. Once I had that focus, I took the next step. It might, I might have been four years ago, and um, now, you know, I, I I'm, do, I'm running two businesses, and that's an absolutely incredible, incredible achievement for me. But. As I repeat, it's the vision. It's making sure that you are in there and um, taking back that control and putting that down and writing that down because after that vision then comes how, what, when, when's it all going to happen? Yeah, I'm not going to go into the, the other details of that because I think the vision is so important to say, what do I want from my life? What does that look like? And actually construct it. I know some people do vision boards and stuff like that, but actually, for me, um, you know, I was I, it, I found myself completely naked of you know having a completely blank canvas in front of me. But there's a lot of people there are still in family situations and um, you know have partners and that and and and, it, and, it, and, it, and that's important because you have to actually put that in in that too. Okay, so um, uh, you know, it, I just think if anything at all. It, to, to keep reviewing this and to keep reminding yourself uh, it's so so important uh, sorry yeah I'm not apologizing for for my emotions I think that's really important for me um, to share that too to you um, you know it reminds us that we do have choices and we're in control of that and um, <clears throat> we can come through that okay so let me know what you got out of it today, what you've learned, what you can apply to your lives, um, wherever you are in your in your business. This is just an essential component that you need to actually focus on and say, what is my ambition? All right. What do I want my life to look like? Because otherwise, without that, you cannot move forward. <laughs> I can put that into into place and action. All right. I shall be back tomorrow. Um, let me know, as I say, when you're, you've hopped on and, and what you, you've got out of today. All right, bye for now.